G'day YouTube, one MJ here and welcome back to my channel. Well, Bitcoin, what a run it's been on. Uh, it is absolutely pumping. And we can go over here, we can see at the moment it's $10,900. Now it was up to around about sort of 11,200, possibly even a little bit higher. So it's already started to have a bit of a pullback uh, as we sort of speak. Uh, and that was to be expected. Something that's kind of jumped up that much, it's going to have a pullback at some stage. And you know, 24 hours, 8%. Look, I've seen Bitcoin do more, but generally, you know, uh, around about 8% or so uh, is what you can sort of expect, on, you know, when it goes on a bit of a run, when it's really starting to do, you know, 20%, 30% and things like that. That's usually when you're kind of in the parabolic stage. But as we can see, there's a bit of red going on uh, with a lot of the other coins uh, with Bitcoin having moved so much. Now, it's not that the others don't uh, go up because uh, again, that old saying, you know, a rising tide uh, lifts all ships. Uh, and that is kind of true. But what I want people to realize is this is a really, really good opportunity to get back into some of the alts that you were in before and you thought, nah, I missed that boat. So if we go over, here, over to here, and particularly in the DeFi space at the moment, you can see a lot of these coins uh, have dropped you know, a, a reasonable amount uh, in the last 24 hours, and let alone in the last sort of you know, 48 or 72 hours. So Compound's down 8%, uh, Maker's down, you know, Aave's down. A number of these are down. Synthetic, so it's making a bit of a move back upwards, but it has dropped significantly. Uh, so don't miss out on this chance. My sort of theory is that when Bitcoin's pumping, I'll get into my alts. And when my alts start to pump, then I'll get into my Bitcoin. And you just kind of uh, keep, you know, jumping between the two. At least that's how it works in a bull market. And I'm pretty sure most people would think we're in a bull market right now. In a uh, bear market, well, it's a little bit harder. You probably want to, you know, maybe, uh, you know, have your position already sold and just hold on to the cash and wait till you find that trend change that I spoke about the other day. Follow the trend. The trend is your friend. But make sure you're not trying to preempt the trend. Wait for the trend to confirm. But anyway, some really, really good opportunities here. So I'm probably going to buy some more synthetics. I'll buy some more Kyber Network. Uh, and not just uh, DeFi uh, platforms. REN uh, continues to go up. Uh, well, not continues. It went up and then kind of traded sideways for a little bit. Here you can see had a bit of a dump going back up. So I definitely want to get some more REN. But there's a number of opportunities out there uh, outside of just simply Bitcoin. But let's go have a look at the Bitcoin chart. So as we can see, we've had this massive breakout here. So that's sort of three days in a row. We just had green candles, and now we're on to sort of the fourth day, the next one, and we're starting off with a bit of a red candle. So we're already starting to pull up. And as I said, there we go. On Bitstamp, got up to around about $11,400, uh, and now it's starting to pull back a bit. And as we can see, it's dropping right in front of us. So now it's down to $10,800. Uh, and ranging around about there. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw it come back to around about the $9,800 level. Now, I'm not saying it's going to do that. I'm just saying I wouldn't be surprised. It wouldn't be wouldn't surprise me at all. But I'm more expecting Bitcoin to fall down to around about kind of the low maybe $10,000 mark. Again, we've had such a, a steep kind of run here that I would expect to see a little bit of a retracement. And then we'll try sideways for a little bit and then we'll obviously, hopefully, go back up a little bit and do the same thing over and over again and you can just use this as a rough indication of how charts work you know you'll get to your bottom pump up a little bit come down pump up a little bit come down pump up a little bit trade sideways maybe pump up a little bit more and trade down and that's generally how charts work uh, across the board on projects that are still good obviously if a project is no good it's going to start to trade downwards uh, uh, constantly until it goes to zero. And again, you know, there'll be people out there that are telling you Bitcoin's going to zero or Bitcoin maximalists telling you all altcoins are going to zero. Look, some will go to zero, but not all. Do your research, get in there and make your decision on what you think's good. Uh, you know, I've, I've got some coins that uh, I'm invested in for the long term. And, and I've said that before, Bitcoin is number one. It's my bigot biggest part of my portfolio then comes ethereum then comes xrp and then i go into a number of different sort of altcoins after that i've got some litecoin i've got some kyber network i've got synthetics network i've got ren 
I've got Neo, I've got Carver, uh, Hedera Hashgraph, Matic Network. And what I'll probably do is I'll do up a bit of a chart uh, at some stage of pie chart and I'll show everyone what I'm invested in. But not all of the tokens I'm invested in are going to be really long term holds. Obviously, if they sort of perform well, I will at some stage, if I can, get my money back uh, and have the less and have what's left over just as kind of free free reign. I am kind of hoping to at least somewhere between three to five X on my lower caps. And once I get to around about there, maybe even 10 X, you know, it'll all just depend. I will take my capital back plus uh, what I put in. So basically double my money. And then with what's left over, then I just let that ride and we'll wait and see. But that's my kind of basic plan. But anyway, it's just a quick one for me today. As I said, there's great opportunities. If you're already in Bitcoin, then you've made some great gains. Now might be a good time to get into some of those altcoins. But just understand the altcoins may still bleed off a little bit from here. But a great opportunity nonetheless. And again, if we go back here, particularly we see something that's gone down, you know, 20%, 10% and things like that. Provided you believe in the platform and the coin and all of that, and you think fundamentally they've got uh, plenty of years of growth, then these are the best opportunities. You know, you want to be greedy when people are fearful. So this is kind of, you know, could be considered peer fearful. And then you want to be fearful when people are greedy. So when things are pumping by massive percent, you know, 20, 30 percent, maybe take some profits. Not financial advice, though, just a personal opinion from someone who's, you know, been around the crypto uh, space for a little while. Anyway, stay safe. Be kind to one another. If you're invested in Bitcoin, you're definitely making some gains at the moment and some great opportunities on the alts if you want to jump in there. I'll see you next time.